Hey, what's up guys? Uh, it is uh, Nick White here, and I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch YouTube. Check the description, you get all my stuff. Um, and we are just doing a... We're doing all the leak code problems, right? So, uh, I'm still in the easy ones, so... And I'm trying to get better at explaining them over time, which I definitely will, but... Um, we're doing Pascal's Triangle right now. So, Pascal's Triangle is actually a pretty popular and common question. Um... It's uh, it's an easy question, but uh, it you have to think about it. Um, there's there's like a trick to it, a little trickier than uh, some of the other easy ones. So basically, uh, what Pascal's triangle is is it's just a triangle of numbers where you take the preceding row and you add the elements, uh, you know, diagonally to get like you know sub triangles, basically like inner triangles, right? So you know one one one, and then this one and this one get added to make the two. This one and two added to the three. Uh, this two and one added to make the three, and so on, right? So basically, the problem is just um, there's some more advanced Pascal's triangle problems, but this one is just um, to uh, they give you a number of rows and then they want you to generate the tr triangle, the correct triangle for that number of rows. Um, so the uh, the way to go about doing this is actually just uh, you know, two for loops, and uh, it's pretty straightforward. So first of all, let's just initialize our return type, right? So this is the return type. We're returning a list of a list of integers, right? Because we have this outer list uh, where each element is a list, and then each element of those lists is an integer, right? So list of a list of uh, integer. Uh, we're going to call it triangle. You can call it whatever you want. This is what we're returning, though. Uh, triangle is equal to new array list, just to initialize it. Uh, and if num rows is equal to zero, we always do this check for like algorithm problems. If the if you're getting an input that's like zero, usually you're just going to want to return immediately. Uh, we're just going to return triangle because there's zero rows and triangle is empty. Our return uh, array is empty, so that's about right. So uh, if it's zero, if it's not, then we actually do the solution for the problem, right? So. Uh, this this is really this right here is the trick to the problem in each for loop um, we're gonna add something right at the beginning so right um, first thing we're gonna want to do is create a list of an integer list of integers and this is gonna be called first row and this is actually gonna be the first row of our triangle right um, it's gonna be this little list that just contains one so first row is equal to new array list and, uh, you know, obviously we just want to add one to this. Well, not one. Um, and then we're just going to add this to the output array, right? So triangle gets added first row. So right now, our return array is triangle. And it, all it has in it is a list with one. So, right, it would be, you know, everything except for this stuff. It would just be this list and it would just have a list with one in it. Um, so we do that because now we're going to... Uh, iterate from one because we already have one list into it all the way until num rows because we want num rows sorry you have to do i is less than num rows because we're iterating up to num rows because um, we're what we're doing is we're looping up to num rows each time we loop through we're going to add a new list in right so the first time we loop through we would add you know this one then this one then this one then this one every iteration we're adding a list of integers until we finally have it done and we can just return this list of lists right uh, that's a good way to do it but you know the the thing that we have to we add the first list first before we even do the loop so that we can do this uh, double index grab right because um, we don't want an index out of bounds error, and if we start it, if we started at zero, and we did this problem the way that we're doing it, it it's not going to work, and you'll see that in a second. So um, we're iterating from one to num rows because we already have one array in the output array, and uh, you know then what we do here is we grab the previous row, we grab the previous row, and that's why we needed a row in the triangle already. We grab the previous list, we'll call it prev row is equal to, um, you know, triangle.get of i minus 1, right? And um, then we're going to have current row is equal to, you can call it row or current row, I'm just going to call it row, uh, new array list. So we just initialize the current row and we get the previous row. And if we were going to do this uh, without a 
row into it, that would throw an error. But since we already put the first row in, the first row is already in, we grab it. So prev row is going to be this one at first. Um, hopefully this is making sense to you guys. Uh, I know I'm not the best at explaining these yet, but, you know, we'll get better as we go on. Um, so we have the previous row and the current row. And then what we're going to want to do is every, if you notice, guys, every single first element of every list is one. So this is what we have to do for the second array. Like I said, we're doing this in both cases. In the outer loop, we're adding the first row initially. And in the inner, when we get to the inner loop, we're just going to do row dot add one. Because we already know that we're going to have one at the first element. And we're going to have one at the last element too. So we don't even, we're going to add one at the end too. Then we do our inner loop. So j is equal to one because we already have it. And we're doing this double index grab again. So that's why we need to do this again. Makes perfect sense. Uh, j is less than i. We iterate up to i because i is going to be the current row we're at. Each each time we loop through this outer loop, we're gonna it, i is going to increase. You know, the number i is going to increase to the current number of elements we need. Um, you know, there's two elements in row two. There's three elements in row three, and that's why that makes sense. So then we do j plus uh, plus. So we loop up to i on the inner loop, and what we do is just add to our our row only has one in it right now, so we need all the other elements. And all of the other elements between the inner, the first one and the last one are, you know, a combination of the previous row's elements. Like I said before, the one and the two makes three, the two and one makes three. To do so, to add that, um, we we use our previous row because we're looping at this. Let's say we're looping at this current row right now. Previous row, then we have all the elements already. So all we have to do is do previous row dot get um you know j minus one plus j plus prev row plus prev row dot get j sorry it's hard to explain and type at the same time um so this this basically grabs from our previous rows the elements adds them together and then it puts it into our row at the correct spot really i'm trying to explain this as best as i can hopefully you guys are kind of following along with me and uh, after that, we'll be at the end, the very end, because we're lo looping up to i, and then we'll just add the last one. Uh, and then we do triangle.add, because we, we have our completed row at this point, so we add it to our final output array. And uh, yeah, then all you have to do is return triangle, because that's the output. And that's that's how you solve the problem, and it's a pretty cool, neat solution. Uh, easy first row dot add row. Oh, sorry. No, oh, my gosh, that was a huge mistake, sorry. That you're adding the first row to triangle. Sorry about that. Just it's hard to type like and explain at the same time. Like I said, um, what's the what's the issue here? Triangle dot add. Oh my gosh. Oh wait. Okay, it's fixed. Sorry. It, we uh, I'll explain it again in a second. Okay, it works. We got the right output, and if we submit. I should type before I finish explaining these from now on. Yeah, we got it uh, correct. What you're doing is you instantiate the output array. If the number is a zero, you return triangle. Uh, you have you get your first row. You add one to it. So we have our first list with one. Then you add it to our output array of triangle. Then we do our inner loops like I explained earlier. The inner loop, we grab the previous row, and we instantiate the current row. We add one to the current row at the beginning of the loop because the first element is one. We loop through the rest of the elements to up to the number that we need. Uh, and we grab from the previous row those elements so we can add them together and put them in the right spots. And then we just add the completed row. We add one to the completed row, and then we add it to triangle, and we return triangle. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. That's pretty much all there is. Uh, you know, if you have any questions or if you want to talk to me, you can join my Discord um, and literally just personally reach out to me. I should be able to help you with anything that you don't understand. Um, and... Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll be doing more videos, so thanks. See you guys.